Hello, my name is John Snow. Welcome to another video from the book browser. I am sorry if this accent is not that good. I will improve it. What is up guys? This is the book browser. Welcome again to my channel. Today we are going to review a series and that is the Mortality Doctrine series by James Dashner. The first book is The Eye of Minds. The second one is The Rule of Thoughts. And the last one is The Game of Lives. As you all know, James Dashner is the author of the Maze Runner series and one of the popular series out there. And the Mortality Doctrines has been out for a long time, but I haven't reviewed them at that time I finished it. so. Now is the time I'm going to review the series. Mortality Doctrines is different from the Maze Runner series because this series is similar to an anime I know. And for you anime lovers out there, if you know the anime Sword Art Online, this is very similar to that because the series is based on a virtual reality system named the VertNet. It's very cool to read about virtual reality because I haven't read the manga of the Sword Art Online series, or should I say, anime. So reading this kind of took me on a ride on reading about virtual reality. And this is very timely because nowadays, you know, technology and all of that stuff, people inventing new things, being innovative. We people invent new things and there comes virtual reality. In this series, we follow three main characters. The first is Michael, the next is Sarah, the next is Bryce. The government in this series hired them to track a virtual reality hacker known as Kane. And it is very cool to know that they are doing their job in virtual reality. And it is cool that they are doing their job on virtual reality. Unlike the ordinary scene where cops hire people to track down bad guys in real life this one is way cooler than that because they are in a virtual reality so anything can happen because this is a virtual reality and it is very different from real life okay so fun fact at the time i have been reading the series i read the first book the second and third book are not out yet at that time so i got the chance to feel the series as it went by the years and it is very exciting and very thrilling to wait for the next book but at the same time I got very disappointed that I did not get to read the next book immediately because I had to wait some time because as you know publishers need their time to publish new books and you cannot just read a sequel immediately unless it is an art. What can I say about this series? This is fast-paced, guys. What do I mean by fast-paced? For example, The Eye of Minds has many chapters. And by many chapters, I am saying many chapters. So, in those chapters, of course, they are short because there are many. But if there is a book that has few chapters, like five chapters, but each chapter is about 50 pages, I would feel slow and I would not enjoy that book that much because I really like books with few chapters because when I finish a chapter I feel accomplished and I do not like reading a book and stopping in the middle of a chapter because I need to read the rest in order to understand the full chapter and I'm not used to reading and stopping just in the middle of a chapter because it's not my habit. I find it a little creepy because of the artificial intelligence in this book. If you have seen the movie Terminator, I haven't seen Terminator, sorry guys. Don't hate me please don't. I will watch Terminator but I am aware of the story of Terminator of, you know, robots going crazy. And in this series, I felt that maybe humans need to be a little bit more careful in what they are creating because one tiny mistake can make a huge difference sometimes. Like in this book, when the artificial intelligence has the capability to be put 
into mortal beings, hence the title of the series, Mortality Doctrines. Cain, who is the bad guy in this series, wants to put artificial intelligence inside the human body. And that is very crazy. Imagine having to talk to a person who is really AI. And you do not even know that he, is, he or she is AI. And I don't even know if I should be calling them he or she because I might I might be judged by people when I you know I don't even know but having that in mind really creeps me out a little bit when I read through the series but on the other hand it is cool but there should be restrictions in managing AI although I know that there are protocols but we should be very careful. While reading the books in this series, I remembered Avatar, the film by James Cameron where people are lying inside capsules and they are being transported to another world. This is similar with that. And I just want to say that I was also surprised at the end of the first book because I did not expect the plot twist. Although some may say that it is not that good of a plot twist, but to me, it is because Michael, who is the main character, is a tangent, or in other words, artificial intelligence all this time. And I'm out of words because all this time I am reading about this character who I assume is a human because I haven't read a book that has artificial intelligence as a main character. So I assumed that our main character is human and I kind of felt the anxiety of Michael as he is in the body of Porter Jackson, I think that is that I think that is his name and it is very very weird to be in a body that is not yours. At the end of Rule of Thoughts, I just want to point out that it is very horrifying to read that our main characters just blew up a real place in the real world because they thought that they are inside the vertnet. I just realized that I had also times where I was confused with what is real and what is not. But let me explain. I see my brother playing basketball games on his laptop and there are times when I look and assume that it is real that he is watching a basketball game but in reality, he's just watching a gameplay. So overall, the series is very great and I recommend for you to read it. If you haven't read this, read it now because it is very good and your time will not be wasted, guys. So that is my review on The Mortality Doctrines by James Dashner. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and click the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified when I post new videos. This has been another video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.